I'm beautiful. Black and white. And I get more from it from white people. It's a damn shame. But I surely do. I get more I, I get more um I get more compliments from white people than black folks. But many black people they're brave enough to come and say, you know, he's a beautiful girl. I you look so pretty. I mean children come up to me like I look so pretty. And they see something in me whether you don't see in me. Because what you don't see in me, Jesus see in me. And that's how it counts. Because nobody can see in people's heart. You understand? But this relationship thing is just because it's so nice. That little sex. And look how much work you have to do for just a few seconds of feelings. One heap of work. One heap of work and one heap of joking and jamming. For just that little couple of seconds of feeling. That's why it should be secret. It should, it, should, it, should, it, should be, it should be, you know, that, that, that thing is very dangerous. That crutch is very dangerous. You see that little something my God make a little bit crutch crutch. It is a dangerous thing. It gets you no know, kill. It gets you no know, mad. It gets you no know, all kind of way. I'm mad over man. I'm mad over man. Uh -uh. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. It is dangerous. That's why God wants no people to turn the ring first before. <laughs> before. Before we don't go on like that because I'm telling you, that, that flesh, you see, that flesh, I tell you, it will take you to hell. You understand? That is, it will, t it will take you straight to hell, honey child. It will take you to hell. But you know, stop focus on relationship, yeah? Focus on yourself. That is what it is. Try to, to, to focus on yourself, especially if when the kids are in college and everything is over now and, and, and everything. You know, focus on yourself. That's be, and that's what I'm doing. I am focusing on myself. I'm, I know. I know when time it. I know when time time come. If the right one is there. The right one is there. That's all it is. And I'm not going to worry about it. That is it. When it come, it come. And when it come, it come. And that is it. And that's how we're going to live right now. If, if I talk to somebody and want to go to them and talk to me about it, if, if it work, it work. And if no work, it work. We move along. Move along, right along. And that's it. That is it. That's all. That is all. So we have to learn to appreciate ourselves. I mean, single and free, I mean, it is good. You do what you want to do. No form of restrictions. And you have to restrict yourself. To, to I, I, your happiness lie between you know so if you are unhappy it's because you want to make yourself unhappy you understand so nobody can create happiness for you no matter how much money they give you it only lasts for a few minutes or a few hours oh my gosh my boyfriend you call a friend oh I'm so happy my boyfriend just buy me a Gucci bag you no longer want a Gucci bag a Gucci purse I'm like hell to know all right Tomorrow, what, 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 what? You know, my boyfriend just tell me to F off. I can't stand that little dirty boy. Can you believe, say, can you believe, say, from morning, I don't see that boy. He call me much time from morning, and every time he call me over mama house. He must say, I forget mama. You know, dear mama's boy, little dirty boy, you know, say, me dear, I'm a, I'm a broke and want money, and he can't, if he can't, can't give me. Oh, you're facing reality now? The happiness gone, right? How long did it last? If you carry that bag, think about it. That is reality. Uh -huh. You spend more time with the woman and your family, they won't spend more time with you. But, 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 but that is what. So look at those aspects in life. Uh -huh. So you better think about yourself first. Yes, if a man wants you, he will want you. You will know. Mm -hmm. Oh, may I get one call from England? Okay. If I call her back. What time I England now? So I'm saying, yeah, that is your happiness. Is that the happiness you want? Temporary happiness? Or you want permanent? Mm -hmm. That is what it is. Yes. 
So that is, that is what it is. I want permanent happiness. That's why I create things to make myself happy. Sing my karaoke, dance, wear what I want to wear, eat what I want to eat, and say what I want to say. As long as I'm not discriminating anybody, as long as I'm not causing anybody no harm, and I just be me, that's all good. That's all good. Because at the end of the day, happiness lies within me. Only me alone can create my own happiness. No man, no children, no family members. No fake-ass friends and acquaintances. Nobody across the borderline can make you happy but your own self. That is what it is. Your own self on a child. Your own self. Self-love is the better thing. So to all the women that we are look somebody, you can't stay in the house and find man. And you have to make yourself attractive. Present yourselves. You have to go places. I want to know which part we find them. We have to make sure I love to speak and know what kind of question to ask. What not to ask on the first date or the second date. We don't need to stop asking man if they're single. We don't need to stop asking man if they're married. It's up to them. They must tell you. Go in it too with a hope in mind and let they, let they come out and talk to them straight. But, but stop the 80s and 90 chatting. I want to, I want to see what's going to happen. Because someone want to buy asking too much questions and trying to get into people's details, there will be lack of interest. Because you don't know what situation they're going through. They might be going through some stressful time. And, and they don't want to hear it. So those are the things, the do's and don'ts. Stop asking people upon the first date or meeting them and questioning them about their personal life. Nobody can ask about their personal life. Anybody asks me, oh, they don't love to ask a man. Oh, so when last you have sex? So you believe that me don't answer that? So when last, you, when last you have sex? What the hell? Pussy wash and turn down again. That's a whore do, out the road. So whether or not you're going to ask a woman, if, when was the last time you do sex, what does that have to do with you? Pussy rejuvenate themselves and tighten them back up themselves. So even if you not, if you ever do it last night and you do it in the morning, it will get tight up, depends on how irritated the, irritate the vagina is. The vagina is very powerful. It's like a machine. It can lock door and it can open doors. It can send a guy your grave and it can send a guy your prison. It can make you walk the street and it can make you end up in the hospital. Pussy full of power. One of the most powerful things out there is pussy. So I'm telling you right now, there's no reason for you to go hax people when last them have sex. That is ridiculous. That is so immature. How are you going to see a woman meet a woman going to ask them when last you have sex? So when last you do something? So if the woman tell you, say what? Oh, I ain't, get, I ain't do nothing for 10 years. So you're going to believe that motherfucker. Why hax? You ain't going to get the truth. So you ain't going to get the truth on the child. In no matter if them have it last night, they must say them not have it over all of how much months now, 10 months. How is it you're going to find out? How are you going to find out if, if where you are, you're looking for a virgin, the virgin are that much, unless you're going to rape one like a bikini, the virgin in the boat, yeah, really. So, good night. Good night, lovely. Well, me now act too lovely right now, you know. Me now act too lovely. What me feel lovely. Mm -hmm. Touch and relationship. Then relationship. They almost forgot to touch my relationship. I'm in a relationship. How people man may have. So, me no know. We can't touch my relationship. I'm in a relationship. Me just, me just a day with a little man on the side. Until me find one myself. That's all. Because you know, Marcy, I can't sit down and drop a nice, lovely, fluffy girl like me. Me must need a little dicky dicky sometime. So, me can't really touch my relationship because I'm people man may have. You understand? Oh, you dress up. So, me just me go out. Me just up to go to bed. Me just, me just come in. Just come in 11.30. I went out with dinner with my friend. So, I'm just saying, I can't, I can't talk about it. The, me just up, me just up, me just up, me just up, go out with the man. Me no expect for getting a rose ring on my finger. Because me never even talk about a ring. But me just go out with the floor. Your girl need a little something to you know. We can't have a little grass to dry up so. We need with grass to water. So what kind of relationship you want me to talk about now? Eh? The best thing me can tell you as a relationship right now. Is to make yourself happy. Be your whole relationship first. Then you can, then you can 
find a relationship. Because they're a rass man, they know what they want. You understand me? They don't want a commitment. They don't even want a commitment to their rass wife. That's why they go to cheat. Them, some of them don't know themselves. Them just reach a age paper when they read 50. So some man out there, they go through hell and powder house and them so tired. You understand? And them stressed out. And all them needs a little comfort now and nice fluffy arms. And them big rosy nice breasts. Yeah. You understand for lean? He said, lean on me when you're not strong. And I'll be your friend until your wife decided to come along. Before you get the divorce, I'll be your friend to get some good loving. Lean on me when you're not strong and I'll be your friend. If your wife and your girlfriend can communicate with you, just bring it over to Marcia and I will counsel you. Be your friend to carry you through. That's all. Uh -huh. That's it. So that's all I'm doing. I'm just being your friend. You understand? But I tell you, that's what I'm doing. I'm just getting what I need to get. Because, you know, you can, I can't just be counseling somebody. And I don't get some lick, some some good licking and sticking. <laughs> I will put a little pitting on a bit. <laughs> I tell you. I tell you that right now. <laughs> me, me just need a good, uh, <laughs> a good, a good gorgeous man. Listen to me. Time is the master. I was listening to Shirley Ralph. She posted a video on social media. I mean, because, uh, you know, she looks so fabulous, that Jamaican woman. And she said, we must give up. If we don't get it in our 40s or 50, we get in our 60s, whatever dreams we accomplish. So if you have something that you really want to work on, and you said, I want to go this place, I want to give, if we work on it, we can get it. So in time, in due time, if the right man could come in, we come in my life. We come. I meet man every day. I get man every day. I even went on the store. I even went out to them and see a rapper this evening. And he, he asked me for my number. But me, I mean, me, me, them at talk about this tea sin thing or whatever. I me like, whatever. Me just give him a hard time this evening. I me give him the wrong number. When I realized I came home and I go Google the man pan, pan, pan YouTube, me realized he's a rapper for true. And he was, he was there telling me I'm a nice and I'm gorgeous and smell good and everything. And if he can get me number nice lady, I mean, if I know, and look at me. You know, I'm not one of them hot chick and, and then whatever. But I mean, I look good and before, you know what I'm saying? And he, so I'm just saying to you, I gave the man the wrong number. The wrong number. And, and, and I mean, I, I was just like, he wasn't my type. You know, he wasn't like my type with him. You know, and whatever. But I mean, it, and there was a lot of a man there that shut up the things them too. When I went to that place. And and they were like, you know who this is and whatever. And me, um, me give the man the wrong number. <laughs> what better me give me the wrong number? Because the man, they have 99 women. You understand? What am I doing with me? When you can't go get some hot body girl for shake up. Yeah? What am I doing with me? You see what I'm saying? So, let that be, let that be. But if I want to know, forget the number, no forget the number because he was around some people that I know. You understand? So it's not an issue. But no one said that damn girl me wrong number when I first girl go and give him wrong number. But um but to me, relationship, somehow no need to somehow no need to stay a relationship. Somehow no need freedom. Freedom and and stress free. Because somehow no we need relationship is because you're isolating yourself on a mind. That's why I cannot open yourself from relationship. So even though I don't say I want a relationship, I don't believe that you're really ready for a relationship. I have to analyze yourself and ask yourself what you want and what you're looking for. Because most of you are looking for a man to pay your bills. And if that's what you're looking for, you're not going to get a relationship. You see? So that is the first That is the first one of the first questions that you have to ask yourself when you start to get mature. Some women will just want a man because they look good. Or most of you want a man, no companionship. But most of women, women really looking for a man nowadays, especially poor ass women. Uno are, uno are not looking for love. Uno are looking for stability. And the stability that we're looking for is like, what does we have to offer? Because the man, they look, what happened? The man, they're looking for the same thing too. At that, at that, at that sort of thing there. 
Man are not stable as one time as they used to. Only the one that will have them big a job when they go to college for with their master's degree and then PhD, those. But the regular one, they when not have dry crackers and not have certain assets, they are looking for stability to a woman who can meet them halfway. But so if you're looking for a man to take over and, and meet you 60 and you meet 40, well, you're going to be single for the rest of your motherfucking life because they are looking for the same thing too. And, 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 and so if that's what you're going into it for, you have to know that it is a two-way street. So you have to know what you want and tell yourself what you want and what you're looking for. Because most of these men that are not in a good positions, they are very stressed out. Don't even talk about if they have children and they're not finishing college. And there are some of them that are responsible and take care of them children. Don't even talk about somewhere drive nice cars and they need to pay the car payment. And the hours are not meeting up the standard and have to work two jobs. So you would ask yourself that question. And you're going to ask the question, what do you have to offer a man? Because enough of us want a man, but what do we have to, what are we putting in? We think that we have some good crutch on our foot. We're pretty and we have nice body and breast on it. That I mean, I'm coming to take a girl man all the time. If me want them, me meet man all the time. And, and them, I mean, no, so me know them look, them have some hot girl and, and them still look me and my belly big. Mm hmm You understand that people call me ugly, me know me gorgeous. I may have a lighter shine for me. When me go up road, man have to call to me. If I even want ugly one, I, but they have to call to me. Mm hmm so we have to ask, we have to come to an understanding because guess what i get a lot of time to to buy myself so i i spend a lot of time with myself by myself with people and with god and we have to come a point in our life of getting older our mistake is our greatest teacher so we have to learn from our mistake and to me we have to make sure that we're ready mentally and physically in our mind and soul and what our desire is and what we want and 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 even if we even have those situations that we want to accomplish, we are not going to get it overnight. We have to work on it and see it is like a flowers. You plant the flowers out and when it get hot, we have to water it so we up and dry. So even though we want these things from men, our man want things from women, you have to work on it to keep it. And one of one of the main factor of keeping this relationship, it there got to be the number one is communication. It have to be attention. You understand you have to find a friend who you and them and you have to find somebody that you and them are compatible. You can't eat rice and him no name rice. You can't eat pork and him no eat pork. You understand there's certain levels because then you're gonna hear so you can't cook this nice a pot here. You can't have to find you have to make sure so the woman love you have to make sure same love a woman who who love to dress up and look nice. Cause some man know why you wear no makeup, them know why you wear no wig, them know why you wear no lashes. So there's a lot of things in going into a relationship to find the right man. You understand? And what you're willing to settle for. Because sometimes you will find a nice man, but in the light, none of them sort of something there. In the one a wig. So it's not only that you're going in the bed to sleep with him and give him some good coochie. or give him some good wine and fling him from the chandelier or from whatever. It takes more than that. Because a man can't get sex anytime. Sex out of road at the giveaway. So those things are, are those small little things. They are details. They are very, they are very, they are very important because you have to find out those things. You understand what kind of some man away wear certain clothes. They don't want to go to restaurants. They don't want to go to a movie. They don't want them to celebrate this. They don't celebrate that. They don't not, not, not. They don't want, when you start talking to them, you need to go out, you need to go out and go up on vacation. They don't even want you to go up on vacation. You understand? Without them. Them the why you have no friend come over. Them don't even want to associate yourself with your own families. You understand? Good night, everybody. So those are those are those things may seem like like they're not a big problem, but they are. So we have to look into ourselves and see what we want. And how we are going to find out what we want. We have to be around those persons 24 7 There is no way that you can find out about a man and be with a man and the man that is you that always. It can't work so. Then how you love going to grow over the phone? No, you need to be close to him to look in his eyes and feel his tender, loving kiss and compress him body against yours. So you can get that love connection and you can get that soul tie. You can't just, you, you, when he's away, you're getting infatuations. You're getting thinking about the sex. So you have this little butterfly feelings, but that's nothing. That's like a, that's like a missing effect, but you need to, you need him to be close. You need to smell him, you need to know his ways, how him sleep, how him talk, if him be it two times a day, how him brush him teeth, or how him hygiene stand up. So there's a lot of factors because you might do something where him to do. 
Because you have some man who be from one day and want be the night again. You have some man who go out on the road and come in and they want be again. You understand? If them be at 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock and if they come home 9, 10, 11 o'clock, they don't want to be again in the gallon bed. But they expect somebody to come and kiss them up and sour body. We go to do in a corona is. They understand? That is so. There, you, you want to know if him sleep, how much snoring, snoring night time for wake you up. Aha. Uh -huh. So all those factors. So the man, after they say you, you want to know him they say you if he's a lover. You understand? Because if, if, if when him, he must sleep, I'll hug you up. Had had them the man that me 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 have in my life, you know. If me a man in my bed, me supposed to throw my foot over him. I what me supposed to go close. You see what me I say? So those are the things that so relationship come with a lot of stuff, honey child. So sometimes better if we just go and date and until me no know. I don't know if you tell nobody because it's a long way. I mean I look. I sure ain't looking. Me married two times already. The first one, the second one account. Mm hmm You understand? <laughs> love, love gone out the window. <laughs> long time. Yes. Yes, love gone out the window long time, you know. And infatuation and tech like and green care business around things now. What can you do? And what and this is the love gone through the window. Lot of man me, me meet lot of man now and them tell me say they might try to come out a relationship. They say they want to be free. But I have people that I talk to and they say, Listen, I want to be free. Um the relationship is not working anymore. I'm getting, I want to experience life. So a lot, so a lot of women, a lot of men out there are stepping out of relationship. It's not because they want to go cheat, but I feel like they want to fulfill their dream. They want, they, maybe some of them are in relationship too long. And they said, my, I, I am, I want to know what it feel like to be 50 and free. Or I want to be no 55 or 60 and be free. You understand? So those are the, those are the things you have to look into. It's a lot on the child. So, so when you see the woman, them. So when you see the woman, them. Watch ya. I tell you. Let me sit up. So anybody, I worry about my brazier. Make my brazier stay there. I'm a sexy ass fluffy girl. I tell you. At least, at least them nice and pretty. I tell you, and fluffy. And they're fifty next year and fabulous. It's when you push them up, they look nice. Yes, that is it. So, I'm not used to it. Because everybody knows, say, Master, how is that your bra? Uh -huh. It's a brand new bra. And there's plenty more than where that come from. Anybody have brand name fridge? Because they don't buy a pop of brazier. Because my own man a real brazier. This one is from, is from Walmart. Very pretty. You understand? Very pretty. I tell you. So, I said big up to Walmart and these lovely cheap bra. Because I don't buy no day, bro. I have a couple of day, bro, already. About two or three of them. I'll go push up one from Victoria's Secret and one from Macy's. When pay for $48, I'm not going to further than that. I'm sorry, dear, I'm going to England. I never got Mark and Spencer. i get too nice, bro. But that's how you go. I don't need to wear no day, bro. We're not through winter. come now. So those are some of the things um, in, in love and, and relationship. Yes, that's what it is. So it is a lot. And to the married woman, them out there, it is a lot. And if you're going to be miserable, you're going to lose your spot. Because women, men are becoming desperately wicked. Their mind is not what it is in stress. And I don't know what Corona did to some of these men, but Corona is changing up a lot of these men worse than ever. And remember that they have two different sides to choose from. And the two different sides that they have is legal. So if they want, they can switch at any time and say they want to be lesbian, it's normal. And they can switch any time and say they want to be gay. They are going to be accepted. So in, 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 in that factor, you must be careful how you treat your man and be careful how you treat your woman. Because some of you out there will say you're not going to do this and you're not going to do that. You'd never know what you're going to do in your life. And, and with options. And nowadays, the devil is moving in all different type of ways. And people are willing to escape out of any stressful situations. And what into darkness must comes into light. So, in a minute sense, you search. We don't have the business search. You understand? If it's good, make it turn good. So to the wife, the mother, and to the girlfriend, I love to search my phone and argue with them. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Just make sure, say, when your man come in, 
and in the and you want to do nothing with the same time you make sure so you go smell that penis and see if you have if you have, if it did have no condom or if it have any bruising on it like you use and you make sure so if you suspect anything you make sure so you get a regular checkup at the doctor just in case in care something on give you know mm -hmm. so but in 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 this type of life right now in a make no sense you're gonna search my phone in a make sense you're miserable walk with the flow don't even talk about if someone don't have no other way out or if you don't have a bunch of children because someone don't go breed up all the papi and don't take the ring so no have nothing to get because even if him dead and gone and him not even as some of them right no will family members are so can come hack it up all the way look up it and you ain't getting get nothing and poor look at them and poor little poor little pit them now get nothing until they reach 18 years old so you have to think about what you want this is the law of the land so you're there with a man for 99 years and breed up he don't write no will what is it you're going to claim Eh? everything is going to go to the child and you can't touch it until the pit you're 18 years old so how about that because if you have a bank account because most of the women don't have a joint account with a man unless they're married most of the man and women live together and have a separate account so you know safe anything post come to shove you cannot get in your account it's a very strict thing and it have to go to probate and go to work on a court business so you have to know what you're doing when you sit down with a man and don't put a ring by your finger the only guarantee you have is to have that motherfucking ring on your finger and and you have that ring on your finger you have access to do things you live with a man 99 years and him drop and you and him don't set him prior to write and write that piece of will paper and say you forget this you can't touch nothing in the bank if there's nobody naming it don't have no children claiming it's going right back to government so there's a lot of things to know when someone now waste time with man. And if you have a children, then the children can get it. But guess what? The children have to wait until they're 18 year old. Suppose you have one pitney, pitney just two, three, four year old. Look how long a pitney have got wait. When I'm 16, 17, 17 more years before you touch it. Then you have to get one lie, you have to do certain things and uh, 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 whatever. It is a long situation. You see, being in a relationship, it is, it is, you must, it must come with some sort of insurance. You must go in it for something. Any relationship we are going to know, it must come with a tide. It must come with something. It must come with some offering, man. It must come with some cash up. And it must come with some PayPal. And Zelle. Something. It must come with. So we have to know what we're getting ourselves in. And, and how um, we're reaching a life right now. If we want to waste our time. And don't inherit nothing. More than one breadfruit tree and two chocolate. Well, mama dead left give it. The damn piece of whole land we can't even sell. So do you want to do you want to walk in your mama foot footstep in a demaya? Eh? Nothing. Nothing. Just left one he like one one yam feel and two banana tree and two breadfruit palm for chocolate tree. That's what you want? Not me. That is what no one in it. Out of man. Me? You don't want to walk in on the mountain to put a footstep. Eh? You don't want to inherit no daddy piece of old cutlass. Eh? What no what no, what what you not getting? So we must know what we want. He said Tom junk Tom the rascal. I I I will talk fully. I will talk certain things and behave like a Facebook or Facebook media. But Mr. Wise Ross girl. You understand me? Been a ramp. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna struggle in my life. Not really say struggle. I, I don't struggle in my life. I had some I have some stumbling block, but I don't struggle. I never struggle in my life. Thank you, Jesus. And I've reached so far. But I have some disappointments. I I would take that back. I I, I never struggle in my life to, to to make it in a way, but I have always have a good life. And when I call good life, I always have more I always have everything. That God provide for me on my daily basis. And I live very good. I go places that many people never been before. And I eat what I want. And I always have clothes and shelter. And look very good all my life. So I don't. I, I'm not, I'm going to take it back. God has blessed me and my family. Very well. You understand? Me and my sisters and so forth. We must say that we, we, have our, we have our disappointment. But God always make a way for us. You understand? So I only have disappointment. But disappointment never stay long. But we have to come to some sort of sense. What is it that we want in our lifetime now? 
when we know say we are we are touch that five zero or that six zero. Cause once you touch that six zero, you don't need nobody really. You just need to be. I just need to. You, once you start read sixties and stuff, you just need to make sure. Say if you live is a sixty, you're supposed to. I surrender on. I surrender on. I sit down to thee, my blessed Savior. I surrender all. That's what we're supposed to do. I surrender all. I surrender all. I sit down to thee, my blessed Savior. I surrender all. Yes, my dad, we're supposed to do. We're not supposed to be thinking about no man. You're supposed to have enough sex from your 20s, 30s, and up. Mm -hmm. And we have to think about ourselves. Once we start just 60 and 65, we should stop worrying about dicky dicky. Because we don't know so many paws are kicking. I want to know so we don't feel for nothing. We don't need to feel for, we need to feel for Jesus. But I realize some of the 60 year old women don't know no age paper. What no must remember say God given us seventy seventy score and if we not live beyond that in a bless. Just like the queen and the people and whatever, unless you have to pray every day to Jesus, like the last king of Israel to give you more life. And the last king of Israel, when he was when he was told that he was going to die, they gave him a vision and told him he was going to die. He prayed to God to God to give him more life. And God gave him fifteen more years to live, the last king of Israel. So I'm telling you, when we reach that age. We have to stop thinking about love of man. And we have to lucky that we are blessed and favored that God give us that age. And we must think about the Holy Father and surrender our life to him. You understand? Yes. I am almost 51, so I, I need my husband before things stop working. So what are you doing to accomplish meeting your husband. Are you making yourself vulnerable? Are you going out? Or are you sitting down in the house? What are you? Okay, since that's, since that's you, I put up and you want to talk about love and relationship. What are you doing? Marcia, I forgot I was at work. I was at work. I take my pill. Please answer the phone for me, please. <laughs> I tell you. Mm-mm. So what are you doing? What are you doing, Novelet? Let let because you want to talk about ownership, and you want to meet somebody at fifty one years old. What are you doing to make yourself vulnerable to meet the person that that your heart desire? Because I mean, is there anyone around you? Because some of us women, we have people that are chasing us, but we don't want them, and we are not willing to take the leap of faith to get to know them. Because I have many men who's interested in me. I have few people that are interested in me. But because me not feel the same way about them, I don't, res I don't resupplicate and give them the attention and the same thing that they're telling me. How do I not know that is my soulmate? Because we are prideful. We are judging. And if somebody tells us they love us too fast, we have a problem with it. We say them, as them, we say them obsessed. They're mad, them crazy. You understand? Or why they think like that? Maybe a green card they want when the people have a green card already, or a, or a something else they want, or whatever it is. So those are some of the things that we will do to chase away persons, and we don't know what who the person is, or what they're capable of doing. So if Navlet, if you were afraid of of all those of dating, then we are talking about love. We want to want find somebody for, eh? Then if, if you if you are in the position where you are afraid for dating and you are afraid to be approached, maybe you're the type of person who is not even a leader in a conversation. Maybe you're the type of person who love to ask questions in a conversation. That, that relationship is not going to work for you. If you're not going to be bold enough like Marcia to interrogate a man and be bold and spontaneous and stand up, you are not going to find somebody. You're probably going to find somebody who's going to use you 
and intimidate you in a certain way and control you. So you better you better act like a damn lady and think like a man. And if you're gonna if you're if you're afraid to date, how is it that you want a conversation? Eh? How is it you want dating same thing? Me not run a dating show over here. Come in and argue with a man. Yeah, fuck up on the page and we argue with a man. Come me can't argue with a poor man. Me can't give a man. Me can't, me, if, me, if me can't find a ass man for myself, then me have man for you, no? Eh? Oh, me go give a man. I mean, I have none for myself. Eh? People, people, what give, people, then what is it? Me not have the man for you, no? Can me want one for myself? I'm sure now looking at them for look. And I sure have many out there looking at me. But, but what is it? Me, me not find myself yet. I have to find myself. When I mean find myself, I need to accomplish more. I need to be more successful. I need to accomplish more of my dream. Uh huh. You understand? I need to. I I I need to go places. I need to be free. You see what I'm saying? I need to spend more time of myself. I spend a lot of time with myself, but but I I talk to people and I date people along the way. But them the people them people are broke pocket people brought no Ross. Two black pocket people can't make it. Me know, me, me know one and two of them that I've been with in the future. Them dick sweet, but that's, that can't hold me. They're good love makers and them good looking and hot, but them broke. What do you ask me? I do broke man. Eh? What me I do broke man? They must have above me. Me and them are supposed to be on the Ross level. You understand me? In education and the job. I ain't going to date nobody where you have low education and me. I mean, sure as hell. I need somebody if they can't spell cat and can't spell rat. So that is it. So those are the factors that you look at. And what, what we can accomplish together. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh yeah, I use my word. Miss Moose, I charge my word. No, honey, child. I would the water. Did I bring up water upstairs? Oh yes, I did. No, but those those are the um those are some of the situation. I'm telling you. You don't have to be wise. Don't let nobody come come fool like that perfect perfect relationship. Not go so. You understand? Let me see if we can't catch up with that phone. Yeah. Let me see if we can't catch up with phone. I pay a breast and I go see right now. I'm telling you. Breast and belly everything. Uh-huh. We need one like a pin. Right. Asking question like that. That is so childish. No man could never ask me no question. They, I'm going to be fierce with you know. And every time you meet a man in the first thing, so what? So I went last year or something. Yeah, even sometimes you tell them something, them tell us I, 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 I lie. Uh -huh. You know, so it's like, why? So what is the sense of asking if you're going to put in words in my mouth? So those are the things that you have to try to avoid. Asking people when they have sex, asking them if they have a man. Because obviously, if you talk to a woman and the woman reciprocates and giving a phone number and I talk to him, obviously, if they do have a man, that means the same thing ain't working. Because if something is working in that relationship, that woman that would never give his number. So once a woman gives a number, say, call her and I chat up to you and I flirt up with you, smile with you, that means that she's interested. And if she do have a man home or a husband home, the husband and her is not any good communication. The relationship is rocky and she's seeking other suitors in the meanwhile to make herself happy. So there's no need to question me if you meet me and I give you information and I'm smiling with you and talk up to you. A woman who is solid, solid in a relationship is going to walk past you, honey child. They're going to like, I'm not interested. I'm married. Even if they're not married to the man, they're going to tell, they're going to hold their finger and say, I'm married. Where's the ring? I left it home. We do it all the time. I'm married. Just I say I left it on because I work and I don't want to get lost. So I just I just don't wear it. Me not, me, I, I tell man I will lie. Mm -hmm. So those are some of the things I can't tell him. But I re, a, my, a woman who is solid in their relationship, they, to demand them, they, they ain't got no time for answering no questions. They're going to be like, if you give it a number and they're talking to you, they're interested. And if they have a man who something is wrong. Either the man not satisfied them no more, or, or no, they give them the money no more, or something, something is going on. So the man, nobody not go, nobody not go, um, hold on there. I'm not sit up too long. Nobody not go, nobody not go do that. You know? 
Nobody never time for waste of time nowadays. So go on with the flow. What no what no what the man need to do is 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 um is try to get to know the woman by inviting her to a lovely um breakfast. When can you meet up with me? Let's have a lovely breakfast. Instead of asking, so when can I come over your house? When can I come over your house? Uh-huh. When what when can I come over? Where you come over for? May I give you any communion over here? Me and tell us that I have the charity around boy. Yeah? If you come, come pick up something for me. Me never know that. So what you guys need to do is to plan the second plan. Oh, when can we go for a little cup of coffee then? Let us meet at Starbucks one of these days. Because at the present moment, the first time we never really get to communicate that much because it was such a hurry. So let us meet. So let's take the first date at Starbucks. Some place where you can just sit down and chill. Then you get to go out there and know it. Look and see if the woman have the same attitude or the same personality as when you met. See, see how the chatting go first. If the person is intellectual, how him looking at you, what part of your body him looking at, and, and if he's trying to touch you on the first date and trying to force an issue and all him start or something there. You look for those things and you say, oh, I catch him a look. Then you don't call him back. You understand? Look and see if him look and see if when him when you ask to pull up, if you have your own vehicle, if he's coming to the car door to meet you and open your car door for you. You understand? Yeah man. Look at his eyes when he meets you or where is it going? Yeah man, look look at analyze those things. Look look at look at it when you sit on the table if he's trying to hold your hand and take him finger and a rub in it and make it like that. I crutch him a look. Uh -huh. You know, some man come and uh, rub up and uh, go on and go on. Like, that's a signal of telling you, oh, I, I like you. Come sleep with me. And that is a form of a Caribbean affection where a man loves to do. You sit down on the table, him have him hand, want to touch your knee and all him sort of something there. Or him did you go on and go on. And. You can't get a word out of time because I'm a tear upon you and I wall up hand, 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 hand. In, in that even want to get for you nothing about the questions them or any type of things where it's one supposed to chat about. And just a tear upon you like say never get crutching in the barn. Uh -huh. You see what I'm about? As soon as you analyze them. Yes. Yeah, man. You see, true. You see, true. You see, true. Me, 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 me always been a popular girl from me and my young days and roll with the big boys them all the time and, and hang around good all kind of different people, up there, people, down there, people. So me learn a lot. You understand? So me learn a lot from Manto. Because I ask questions and I be around them so I know and I observe them so I know how, how, how things are. You understand? So and when you live on your own so long like me, you get to develop a relationship with yourselves that you, you know what to do from what not to do. But if you just you just go and work with the flow. You just want to work.